Good morning, this is Mark Saunders, and I'm taking this opportunity to show you how to use the Softing Wire Expert 4500 cable certifier. I am with uh, Softing North America. I have my units out here and want to give you a brief overview of how you'd set up to do a channel or permanent link test. These are the two wire experts, uh, a local unit and remote unit. You'll notice they're both the same. Uh, one marked local, can't see it, but it's down here, one marked remote that we do our test with. This is the default screen that comes up again. I understand you can't see the screen, but for this portion, it's not important. I will have a follow-up video that shows us walking through the screens after I get the hardware piece of this done. The other pieces we have are the Category 6A channel adapters. You'll notice the top of those are RJ45, easy way to identify them. Also, label correctly. The other are the link adapters. They use what we call a Terra connector. It looks a little bit different. Very reliable, very rugged connector for doing a permanent link test. The other two pieces we have are the link cables for doing a permanent link. They have the Terra connector on one end, RJ45 on the other. Again, that's for channel testing. I have two of those. This is another one. So, what we're going to do first is set up a permanent link test so that we can check probably what you do a lot of at permanent link. First thing we need to do is what we call a set reference. To do that, I'm going to walk through here the hardware requirements, what we have to do with these units to set up a permanent link. My next video will show how to actually do it and set up the screens to do the permanent link test. To do a set reference, which is critical to making sure your tests are accurate, you have to set the reference before you start. First thing we'll do is we take our unit. You notice the back of it here has nothing here. And we take a channel adapter, plug that in, and it, it simply slides directly onto the unit. There's no nothing fancy about it. Slide it, snap it in. Make sure it snaps in. It'll give you a little happy sound, we call it. Says it's connected. The trick here is on the other one, and it doesn't matter which one gets which, you set up, you plug in the one with the tear connector that we do with permanent link. So again, take this out, line this up, snap it in, make sure to snap in snugly. These are very rugged units, you have a hard time hurting them. The next piece we have to do is we take our link cable and cover the RJ45 in, and we plug the two units together. So along with the RJ45, I simply plug in the RJ45 connection. The one with the Terra connection, simply plug this in. Let's get these behind it. And we now have the units connected. This is where we'll do the permanent link test. What we're going to do is go to the tools. Again, you won't be able to see this on the screen. I'll walk through it in a little more detail. And from on the tools, there's a choice to do set reference. The set reference, when you run it, it will tell you if you've got it, that it was successful. It's checking all the connectors, the cables, the cards, and then you're ready to do it permanently. So relatively easy to set up. One channel connector one permanent link connector, one cable. All that come in your kit, this is the kit back here that you get, and a nice box, uh, case to carry it with, and you're ready to do this. So we're going to stop here and then get it set up so you can watch the screen set up. 